Hello everybody, Fox4 India Charlie Echo here and today I want to show you a little bit about this smaller USDR sandwich radio that is made by Delta Lima 2 Mike Alpha November uh, to be honest this is not the original this is the Chinese copy that I, uh, I uh, managed to get my hands on so I know the original it's a two border it has two internal boards this one has uh, free and to be honest I'm amazed it's just a beautiful thing to have uh, on you if you do uh, if you're a big fan of QRP and also if you have uh, uh, activations and uh, SOTA and summits on the air and all that uh, things that uh, makes you to go outside before you buy the USDX um, transceiver um, please buy it from Delta Lima 2 um, Mike Alpha November site um, this one I think is the Chinese copy that was a uh, hundred euros and things like that um, it only costs fifty dollars to buy the original so go original and also to support um, the work of uh, this ham radio operator um, it occurred to me that uh, it's the better thing to do uh, this one I'm gonna show you um, how it works uh, like I said is the Chinese copy I am amazed you have all the bands that this one has from 1.8 to 30 megahertz uh, never never went down in 1.8 started from 3.5 all the way to 30 it's a beautiful reception uh, it's very intuitive and uh, to be honest it weighs almost nothing you can compare it with my hand but I'll just show you compared with a lighter so um, the exterior case that I made um, it was made by a friend of mine so uh, you can see it's a little bulky I cut it um, it's, it's just a fast case made I'm just going to show you the big picture now oh so it's it's very small it's it's small it's five watts it's small and uh, the original not the Chinese copy goes like this small so it's even smaller um, it's a class E transceiver so you have um, class E final drive it's the simplest to make um, you have the processor that is doing SSB with the final drive it's just a crazy thing it's just a crazy thing um, like I said it was a fast build was not a very beautiful build inside um, it's amazing it's amazing and it has the CW decoding um, menu and it's wild it decodes like nothing that I saw before it decodes incredible even in in, uh, in low receiving conditions it's it's beautiful like, like you saw this this was uh, put in on the um, internal antenna at the active antenna so I have only I don't know four times this the wire uh, the vertical whip and you have reception it's a very beautiful reception radio um, I'm just going to show you some um, small menu options that it has and you can see it on the outside it's it's not very complicated you have an internal PA uh, jack uh, to put in an external PA sorry you have the menu button you have the <laughs> VCO uh, tuning button and also a command for the menu a push command for the menu you have an enter button you have a PTT um, I saw the original one um, also have has an audio um, speaker an external audio speaker you can put in um, the audio speaker even at the Chinese copy and you can put in a small microphone here uh, that you can use with a PTT so you can do CW like this or you can do CW with the key insert here you have the audio and here you have an external an external um, antenna 
I put in a normal BNC antenna. It's just for my pleasure. I, I do a lot of BNC. And here you have the cable for uh, for putting in power. Um, I'll try to explain you why do I have this kind of cable. Um, it's very well known that this type of radios, uh, classy radios, do not support too much SWR. So you have to have a very good antenna that's about like 1... 1.2, 1.5, the maximum SWR, because if you go over 1.5, you will burn the final drive. That is not a shame, because it's using the small, cheap final drives. Um, the India Romeo Lima Mike L2060 uh, um, final drive integrate. So, it's not, I think I paid them like 5 euros for 10 pieces, so it's very, very cheap. Um, I didn't want to use the external microphone to put in a microphone here, uh, because I don't want to go like this every time I'm talking to someone. So I just put in a small, a small wire with an electric mic just here, and I'm just using this for PTT. Uh, I tried to do some CW with this. It works. You have to do some slow CW with it. It's just a button, on on button. Um, like I said, I put in this type of jack also, this type of input of a 9 volt battery, because if I'm going somewhere, I can just put it in like this and receive. Just go and receive like with 9 volt battery. It weighs nothing. I, I don't know what why why the builder didn't want to put in a nine volt in, nine volt inter, internal battery, and you can go like five hundred milliwatts with this and CW and in SSB, it's just wild. It's just wild. I put it this type of input because, like I said, um, it's very hard to tune without burning the final. So I said if I'm putting less power in it, it will tune and I will not burn the final. I was right. You can also do a modification on this little piece uh, to not burn the finals to have low power on TX when you're tuning. I don't want to do that. Also, I saw that if I'm putting some uh, 12 volts in it, it's very hard to do. Um, I'm ju it's, just, it's just going to tune one time, two times, and after that, he'll, it's just going to burn the final. I'm using this as a battery pack. There's just some double battery packs of um, the lithium polymer type uh, with the support and I put in a C charger for the batteries and a battery monitor to see if my battery is okay or not. Usually it has a decoupling um, a security so if it will not overcharge it will not go under the charge. I just made this for about I don't know, 10 euros and got this, uh, get the batteries, batteries from a laptop, an old laptop. So I'm just going to put the battery, battery in and I'm going to show you a little bit of the functions and why I think this one is a beautiful radio. Even it's, it's a Chinese copy, doesn't matter. Uh, they all work the same. Maybe the, the new ones, the, the Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November has other options, but this one is just great. So. It's in CW now, and you can see the CW decoder. I'm just going to show you the menu. You have the volume. You have the mode. You have the filtering. You can use all the other buttons to change all this. Uh, you have the band, um, the tuning rate, VFO mode. It has a double VFO, by the way. Uh, RIT for CW, arm and gain control, noise remover, attenuation, double attenuation, S meter. Uh, for the S meter you can choose um, S points, S bar, words per minute, uh, decibels. You can just take it off. I usually use S bar. It's better for me. Um, uh, you have the CW decoder. You can put it on and off. Um, uh, semi key, uh, cure speed, the practice, it, it's not going to go in TX, so it's very good to do a CW practice. What do you know? Like uh, $50, and you can use it as a 
practice here, like this one. But that's one a little, it's a little bigger. So in holidays, it's better to pick this one. Uh, Vox, what do you know? Vox, you have a Vox. What can you do with a Vox? Well, you have a QRP 5 watts transceiver, a Vox that you can go on and off, just plugged in an, uh, an interface and you can work digital modes at 5 watts. Digital modes with 5 watts. What an idea. Noise gate, this is to, to modify the parameters of the, the radio. TX drive, um, very important when you're changing the finals um, to modify the TX drive. It depends of, of um, what kind of type of finals you have and what kind of um, power they support. Um, CQ interval, this will be like 5 seconds. It's automatic CQ. So you're putting it in a CQ message, you're just pressing this button and it's going to go every 5 seconds or, I don't know, 10 seconds, 50 seconds, 1 minute. Um, it'll go in a CW mode, I just have my CQ CQ of uh, uh, my call sign here. And to get out you just have to push enter and it's just going to go out. If you want to change frequency you can do it by the menu or just double type the central piece. It's going to go up ways. Okay, 14, 18, 21, 24, 28, 